So, um, in this project, we'll be deploying our websites, two of them, on web servers, HTTPD and Nginx web servers. And we'll be doing all of these on Docker containers. Um, first, the first thing you want to do <coughs> is to make sure you have your your web applications in, in the current present working directory or in your current directory. So this is the counter application and this is the portfolio website I built. Um, yeah, in my directory. If you don't have these in your directory, you can download them from GitHub and you can clone them. That's the term. Git clone. So I will share with you the links to get this uh, these applications um, the first one where is it where is it where is it I'll also link it in the description of this video below that's it git clone https github.com at back phone and counter.git so with that you can as soon as you type that and you press enter that uh, app will be downloaded into your current directory and you'll be able to work with it. Uh, if you watch this video and you can't find it in the description, write it in the comments that you can't find it and I will. And I'll put it there. That's it. Um, both applications, you can get them from my GitHub. <coughs> Just clone them and it will be downloaded. Right, so now that's that. You have them in your current directory what you want to do you want to pull um docker pull httpd you want to pull that docker image from docker hub and as soon as you pull it the next thing you want to do is you want to run You want to run the image but take note i'm working currently on my laptop but i'm using the docker desktop so to see, have this setup you have to download docker desktop and install it on your laptop now i'm running the httpd now that's it um because i used port 8080 I should find it on my port 8080. I called the name of my container HTTPD, right? And this HTTPD, the last one here is telling me I'm using the image I downloaded, which is HTTPD as well. Now, if we go to our browser, um, sorry about that. Let's go to localhost. ATAT. All right. Um, this is a localhost eighty eighty says it works. Now it means that our HTTPD that we downloaded and ran works. Now let's um, let's uh, attach our web application to this. Uh, to the httpd container we are about to create and then everything will work our website will be deployed all right let's move on down here so the next command we'll be using is a is a longer command than the last one we used um, But before we run that command, we'll have to stop this container. Docker ps. That's it. Get the number. Docker. Docker stop. Paste. The, right. It will stop it. Then you have Docker rm to remove the container. That container is gone. We did that to just check if the HTTPD. Um, image runs well now we are about to use it to um, deploy our application now 
means we'll have to run another run means to create another container that will deploy our application so the command goes like this docker run the name is httpd port 8080 and now present working directory you will find a counter app there now attach it to our apache container or httpd container that we are about to create let it be read only and let it be detached that's what the minus d is there for because my command extends to the next line i will put a backslash here so that i get no errors i wouldn't put the backslash there if it did not extend to the next line all right hold on i think uh there's a mistake somewhere all right i removed the backslash and it works so that's good if we go back to our browser now we should have a website there when we refresh so that is my website let me enlarge it a little bit all right it's a website that um counts you save 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 and it keeps so many up at the bottom I, I i use this for my workouts when i go to the gym to count my reps right and then you reset everything goes back uh, as you can see we are we have used httpd image to deploy our web application the next thing we want to do now is to um, use what's it called now the engine x web server to um, deploy another application uh, so we, we won't need to take this down we'll just create another container uh, from another image and we'll be able to achieve that all right let's clear the screen now to deploy our second portfolio website application uh, remember you can git clone the application uh, I shared the link to clone it earlier so you can go back and get it as soon as you put the git clone and the github link just press enter and you'll have it in your current directory uh, first thing you want to do is you want to pull the nginx uh, image git pull nginx sorry docker pool <laughs> all right now that we've pulled our image the next thing you want to do you want to run your image and this is the docker run you give it a name nginx you use 8081 because you've already used 8080 the other application is making use of the 8 port 8080 so you use 8081 or you can use 8082 or 8083 whichever one you want to detach it so that you can keep using this terminal and the, this last one here is the name of the image now that you've run your or oh, what's it called your nginx on 8081 we can go to your browser localhost 8081 you refresh as you can see welcome to nginx letting you know that your your image works fine now what you can do is go there delete the image uh, this is the nginx image get the container id uh, docker stop you can just type the nginx right docker i'm waiting for your feedback they're supposed to give me a feedback an nginx feedback okay they've given me so the next is docker remove nginx all right they've done that 
now that I've deleted that container, I can now use that image to deploy my portfolio website. I hope you understand what I'm, I'm doing. It's the same thing I did with, uh, uh, what's it called? HTTPD. So that's the code we're running. Let's explain the code. The code says docker run that's that's name nginx. The name of uh, the container we're creating is nginx. We'll be uh, exposing it at port 8081 and the volume will attach my portfolio website in my present working directory to the container we're about to create using nginx image. This is the nginx image mentioned here. This is just the, 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 the path, right? And then this is read only, this is detached. And then when you press your enter, it creates, it creates the container containing your my portfolio website. If we we'll go over here and then we'll do localhost 8081, right? Refresh, refresh. We have my portfolio website. Uh, let me expand this. All right good expand and then you can see the portfolio my handsome face about services cloud engineering javascript full stack mobile development we have latest work so that's it basically so so far we have been able to um, <clears throat> demonstrate how to pull and run Docker containers for HTTPD and Nginx. We've cloned a website repositories. I showed you how to clone them and mount them as document routes for the respective web service, which is the HTTPD and the Nginx. We've also, uh, I've also shown you commands to use to stop and remove containers uh, when needed. So I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe and uh, yeah, make some comments down below. I'll be checking them out.